There's a period of life where you grind it out. This is the only way you know how to do it. And it's necessary. You get to a point of stability. It's like, I finally made it. I can breathe. I can pay the bills. There's one or two options where people go from here. The stability breeds complacency. Complacency, a gradual settling to a place of mediocrity. Remember this, satisfied needs never motivate. Super excited about our next guest. I uh, I don't know how to articulate the wow factor with this man, but um, he's become a personal friend of mine. He is one of my personal coaches, one of the best in the world. Uh, I want to welcome to the show the master coach, Bert. Thank you, man. How are you? That's a good articulation right there. I feel, I feel good about that. Not bad. Uh, yeah. Long time coming. A uh, lot to dig into today. Okay. Kind of talking about what we talked about earlier. People struggle. They struggle in business. Part of that is getting the office. Part of that's get up every day. But some people just see, you know can't seem to get ahead. I know you're working on a concept now. It's like this quantum leap, showing people yeah. how to basically, you know, leapfrog, yeah. big jump, all that stuff. Talk about that. Where'd that come from? What does that mean? Do you know in life, there's certain seasons, I'm sure you're the same way, where you just get fascinated by something. Yes. Right. And I met a, a, a great psychologist here in Dallas, Texas. I started studying his work called named Price Pritchett. He was a clinical psychologist uh, and decided that he didn't want to go into that business he wanted to take that and go into the business world. And he kept talking about having a seat at a bigger table. Mm. Like he was looking, and for him, that was mergers and acquisition. It wasn't just being a psychologist to people. Right. It wasn't just helping them with their personal problems. It was kind of like getting over to the boardroom, big mergers and acquisitions. And he wrote a book in 89 called You Squared. And somebody gave me the book. It's like, you got to read this book. So I read the book. Little did I know they sold like 14 million copies of that book. Self-published. Wow. And so I became fascinated with it. Like, who's not interested in a quantum leap? Like, you're in the mortgage business. Like, who's not interested in going from zero to 50 million? Right. Or 50 million to 100 million? Right. Not incremental growth. Sure. It's not exciting. So I started going, okay, how does one experience a quantum leap, this big jump? And what he does is he gets your mind open to to trying differently versus working harder. If you're a grinder, it's like the way I'm going to do it is work harder, which is me. Sure. He comes along, it's like, no, we need to try differently. So here's an example he uses. Company A's uh, growing at 7% year over year, incremental growth. Okay. Company B's growing at 7% year over year. Company A then goes and purchases company C. They then grow at 80% in one year. That's a quantum leap. Mm. Me going from making uh, $2,500 a, a, a month to my first speaking engagement where they paid me more in an hour than I made in a month, mm. right? That's a quantum leap. Yeah. Me getting my first coaching assignment, company said, we want you to come in and be our coach. And remember, I'm a high school basketball coach. Yeah. I'm working 80 hours a week. I'm making $2,500 a month, mm. right? Yeah. And that comes down to pennies. Sure. Okay. Healthcare company says, we want you to be our coach. We're going to pay you 144000 12000 a month. We want you to work one week a month coaching our people. Mm. That's a quantum leap. Right. So I started becoming fixated and fascinated by how does a person do this? Like, how do you create a quantum leap? And I came back to two things. Okay. One, a person walks into your life and brings you a new method. Think about it in your life. You're going along. You learn from this coach. And they go, do it this way, Brian. And you jump. 10 million, 20 million. You learn it this way. Boom, boom. And so when you, somebody walks into your life and gives you a new method. Right. That you didn't know. Right. Number two, you meet a person. And that person introduces you to a whole new group of people. Mm -hmm. When I spoke at 10X in 2018, right. 10,000 people, relationship with Cardone, immediately that's a quantum leap. Yep. I go from being unknown to known. Right. Okay. And it generates more in an hour than I'd ever done. We onboarded more customers in one hour than we had ever onboarded. We couldn't wow. even handle it. Right. It was like it was like 600 customers at one time trying to log on to the Every system. Every business person's a dream and nightmare. And I'm like, at the same what? Time, right? And like, we didn't even like we did. We were so unprepared for that. Right. It's like we we enroll people who couldn't speak English. Did you expect that when you hit the stage? No. If y'all said, hey, best case scenario. I no, man. And overnight, it was just boom. I was just excited to speak, and I thought I'm going to go up here and give it a good shot. You know, it's I mean, it's everybody: Damon, John, Milet, yeah, yeah. Cardone. Whoever, Bradley, Frizzella. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's everybody. And it's like, boom. 
That and that, a, that was a quantum leap. Quantum leap, quantum launch, but you almost did it too big, too fast. But you, to your point, it's like you can go from zero to 100 with those people, that stuff here and there quickly, and people need to That's think right. like that. And they don't think like that. Mm. People are trained to think incremental. So let me give an example. Build this greatness factory. I start talking to people. Man, I want to grow these things. Right. Everybody says, well, build the first one. Get it up and get it going. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's successful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Starbucks, how many do they open per day? We work, when we work came along, didn't open one at a time. Sure. They opened 30 at a time. Mm -hmm. So the, the traditional thinking is you got to do it one at a time. You go partner with the right partners, Brian, and next thing you know, you pick up 25 million more of business sure. through one person, one relationship. So I like to say the key to the many is to the one. Yep. You get the one dude. There's going to be people who see this, me and you go, why is, why is that dude not coaching me? I want to come back to this in a minute on systems. That's something I want to talk about. But staying on this piece about people not thinking like a quantum leap and stuff, a lot of people struggle personally and professionally to get ahead and make progress and there's no goal or yeah. nugget and they become stagnant, like just yeah. stagnant. What what causes people to do that? How do you get them out? Well, it's, it's interesting because that's what we coached on today. Yeah. Right with the team. It's like, why does a person become stagnant right what is the causation of stagnation well think of it like this there's a period of life where you grind it out this is the only way you know how to do it and it's necessary correct you get to a point of stability it's like i finally made it i can breathe i can pay the bills right Sta the, the stability there's one or two options where people go from here the stability breeds complacency complacency a gradual settling to a place of mediocrity. Remember this, satisfied needs never motivate. That's right. Only unsatisfied needs. Correct. So some people get to stability and go, I'm there, we're good. Some people get to stability and go, I'm sickened by this. I'm never there. I hate it. I'll, now I go looking for the quantum leap, mm. okay? So really what I coached your team through today was the seven phases of why people stagnate what is the causation of that stagnation what do you do when you stagnate right mm -hmm. we coach through the passion cycle and we kind of work through that and and you know ask your team like what did they get from today and every one of them said man i'm thinking about why i stagnate i'm thinking different right now because first step is awareness yep i've stagnated right now what's the causation of this stagnation and and that is what so many people do it's like slow growth i'm stuck you know, it's like I can't get out of this cycle. Passion, duty, burden, commitment. That is the passion cycle. Started with passion, went to duty, went to burden. Now I got to get back home to commitment, man. So for people that are watching this, I mean, your growth curve and boom has been pretty big over the past few years. For maybe the people that aren't there yet are asking questions or look at this, like what systems do you use personally and professionally to keep it in order to move the needle? What does that look like for you? And what can people like start thinking about? Yes, I want to take the leap, yeah. but I got to have stuff to do right. every day to protect it. Well, one of the first things I figured out when I left athletic coaching. So think of this as an athletic coach. This is a game of probability. Mm -hmm. Selling is a game of probability. See, I have a set of plays. I'd run the plays. We'd chart the plays. Did the play work? Did the play not work? If it worked, we kept running. If it didn't work, we quit running it. Then I get into the business world. And I'm like, nobody's got any plays. Mm -hmm. Like this is like we need a selling system. So one of the first things I did is I created a selling system called Tactical Connection, a series of actions that you take every day. Mm -hmm. Hit list, farm club, top 25, red zone, um, connectors, blue marlins, level 10s. And you work the system, and the system drives up the probability of making a sale. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of systems out there. You got the core, that's a system, great, great. which is a, it's, it's, it's all semantics to me. Sure. What they're doing and what I'm doing is very similar, right? right? Maybe I add in person of interest, which is a little different, but, but at the end of the day, we're saying, Brian, if you do these things every day, you're going to drive up the probability of winning. Right. How many people you talk to? How good are you explaining value? How good are you at follow up and conversion? How good are you engaging with people after the sale? How good are you at becoming known in the marketplace? How good are you at generating leads? Every business has to do the same thing. So the systems we use are systems that I created because it's like I was coaching businesses who didn't have these systems.